We're here today with Jay Shah, Managing Director of OpenDNA. Jay, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. Thank you for having me here. Can you tell us about OpenDNA? So OpenDNA is, uh, is a platform that when businesses power their systems with, uh, we get to know a lot about their consumers and their customers and what their customers are really interested in. So very much more, uh, deeper insights into their behavior patterns. And by using this information, uh, OpenDNA is able to automatically predict better uh, user engagement sort of scenarios and provide users with better experiences. So the users actually get what's relevant to them and what's personal to them. And this gives uh, businesses the opportunity to actually increase revenue. Where did the idea come from? Uh, I've been building tech companies for many, many years and investing into tech companies. And one of the, uh, my personal frustration was the one that actually uh, led us to build this and design it. Uh, you know, when we're, we're, when we're searching for things online, it's basically what the search engines want to provide us, what they think it's relevant to us, but it's, it's not. It's what's relevant to them based on what has happened on search engine optimization work. Um, you go and buy an online, you go into a major e-commerce retailer and you buy a toaster. You go back to the website and you see toasters. You buy an airline ticket to San Francisco, three days later the same airline will send you a newsletter saying, by the way, here are some great deals to San Francisco. You bought the ticket, how many times do you want to keep buying the ticket? This personal frustration led to seeing whether we could actually create a system that uh, truly understood the human being. And uh, if this system uh, was able to do that, then that system would allow the consumer to fully control every experience for, on any system that's powered by it. So we started drilling down into these details and thinking, what are, the, uh, what are the factors that actually come into play? How consumers make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis? How, what products you buy? What news you read? What, uh, what places you go and eat at? And there are about eight factors, your interests, your values, people you're connected to, the time in the day, your location, weather patterns, uh, financial status, and health. And your interest is down to three things, which is what you read, what you watch, and what you listen to. And uh, so reading, watching, listening became the fundamental basics of building one of the most powerful psychographic profiles on a consumer. And we built the system, we uh, patented it, um, and it's uh, currently a platform that actually builds a very unique psychographic profile on every single individual. So let's say a customer, a company, or an e-commerce retailer has a, has a million customers those million customers will each have a very unique experience in real time. What are some of the recent milestones OpenDNA has achieved? So we went, uh, we listed the company in November last year. The company has been in operation for two years. Um, and in the last three months, we have uh, built out uh, uh, some brand new technology uh, that's enhancing user experiences. And we've actually seen that happen in the platforms. We've got an incredible pipeline of business um, in Australia with uh, major consumer brands, um, Singapore and in, the, in North America. And uh, in terms of uh, yesterday's news, we announced that we had uh, signed an agreement with Facebook and Fiber. And what this signifies to some of the publishers that we partner up with and, and we power their systems, it provides a, an, an incredible vast inventory of advertising that's available to them. And previously, when they would be receiving $2.50 for, let's say, programmatic advertising for every 1,000 ad impressions, with the new partnerships, uh, we're able to deliver a lot more than that in terms of revenue. Um, so now, a publisher doesn't have to worry about building up those relationships. They don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to implement those relationships and those software development kits into an environment. And with OpenDNA, they can be up and running within 20 days, literally. They would have a OpenDNA artificially intelligent powered app with one of the biggest and most powerful ad tech companies inventory in their arsenal within 20 days. What should investors look for over the next three to six months? Uh, there is a lot of uh, business development. That's uh, a lot of pipeline of work that's coming through. Uh, partnerships, uh, not just from more ad tech partners. We are in discussions with some of the largest ad tech companies in the world. Um, a lot of uh, modules and platforms coming in for commerce. Uh, so, con you know, e-tailers e e basically using uh, the application and major tech uh, enhancements as well. Jay, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you, David.